Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to identify the relationship type among the entity types. So far, we have covered uh, in our previous class, we have covered, we have identified the different entity types, four different entity types from the requirement. So what are the four different entity types that we have identified? It is employee, department, project and dependent. These are the four different, uh, four entity types that we have identified if you haven't watched that video please watch that video and come back here because the understanding of that concept how the requirements are con are converted how the entity types are obtained from the uh, from the requirements uh, that concept is very important and every video in our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts and the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now uh, what is a requirement uh, sorry what is a relationship type among the entity types so from all the four entity types for understanding for better understanding we will take these two entity types the entity type employee and the entity type department so from these entity types we will try to identify a relationship from these two entity types we will try to uh, will try to identify a relationship type so what is the relationship type or relationship means is you take any two entity types so uh, you take uh, 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 between so among these entity types there exists a relationship there exists a relationship it is implicit and we have discussed the definition of the database is the collection of related data so that is very important related data so what that related means is so among these entity types there exists a relationship okay so how to identify the relationship that is whenever an attribute of one entity type refers to another entity type some relationship exists whenever an attribute of one entity type so we are going to cover this so as well as possible because the concept is very important to understand so this understanding is going to uh, is going to bring you a lot of uh, 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 a lot of understanding uh, about these uh, about the databases so whenever an attribute of one entity type refers to another entity type some relationship exists now between these two can you guess what is the attribute which is referring the other entity type take pause this video for a while and uh, take a guess okay so now if you take department if you take department in the employee so this is the department number so assume that this is the department number in which the employee is working so from the requirements we have identified that every employee works in a department so based upon that requirement we have considered this department attribute so the department attribute means it may be name of the department or number of the department let's assume that we have considered it as department number okay which uniquely identifies each and every department so employee e1 works in department d1 employee e2 works in department d3 so are you able to get that point so the, here we are trying to uh, what the requirement said that an employee works in a department but department is the attribute is an attribute which is referring the other entity type see what the definition states attribute of one entity type attribute of this entity type is referring another refers another entity type if any such kind of attributes are existing in an entity type which are referring the other entity type then there is a relationship the relationship exists okay so now what is the relationship between these two is this department number is the attribute of department so what is the relationship that is existing is employee works for department so what it states within it what is the meaning that we have an employee works for a department so works for is what we call it as a, an relationship type 
works for is what we call it as relationship type how a relationship type is represented so we have identified that there exists a relationship between these two entity types similarly if you take all the entity types on one go so there exist several different types of entity uh, relationships okay how to identify a relationship how to identify that there exists a relationship between two entity types is whenever whenever an attribute of an entity type is referencing the attribute uh, referencing another entity type then there exists a relationship between these two this is the attribute which is referencing the department entity type now what kind of relationship is there employee works for department works for is the relationship okay how the relationship types are represented in er diagram is it is represented by this symbol this diamond symbol and within which we have to write the name of the relationship works for is the relationship and as this relationship is mentioned here now we are going to delete this department so uh, delete uh, delete in the sense we are not going to use that uh, uh, because it is acting as a this attribute is acting as a relationship so we have already represented the works for try to understand that point now we are going to maintain the relationship between these two an employee works for a department so the connections between employee and department should be made so this represents that employee works for department okay so try to understand this now we have taken out of this uh, taken out this department because this department this attribute department is acting as a relationship what kind of relationship what the relationship type is it is works for employee works for department so that is what so we have to so so far we have seen four different entity types among those entity types we will try to identify different relationship types so this is this is uh, all about uh, identifying relationship type among the entity types hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching